How to install Phantom Wallet on iPhone Hey guys, welcome into this new video In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can install our Phantom Wallet on our iPhone so quickly and easy So the first thing you want to do is to go into your App Store and in here you want to go into Phantom and hit into the search button Then what you have to do is to go and install our Phantom Wallet Now there are a few people that say that this doesn't appear in our App Store in your App Store so if this is your case, you don't need to worry about that. You just need to go into your browser and in your address, you just need to go into Phantom Wallet. So after that, you're going to see the main page of the Phantom Wallet, which in this case, what we just want to do is to go and select this one that says download. And you can see the direct link of the app store. So you can be sure that you can see it this time. So it says allow link to switch apps. I'm going to allow it. And this will redirect me into the main page of the Phantom Wallet into the App Store. And now what I want to do is to install it. Now once this is finished, what we want to do is to go and open our wallet so we can import our wallet or create a new wallet. In this case, I can use Face ID in my iPhone, so I'm going to allow this. So the next time I enter in here, I just need to Face ID to access my wallet. But in this case, now that I have a wallet, I have to go into I already have a wallet. If you don't have a wallet on Phantom, you just need to go into create a new wallet and you just have to fill the information real quick. But in this case, if you have a wallet like me, we just need to go with the secret recovery phrase. A phrase that Phantom Wallet provides you the first time you created your wallet. So now that we've done that, we just need to wait a couple of seconds and head into next. And it says you're all done. You can now fully enjoy your wallet. Let's agree to the terms of service and get started. If you want to enable the update, you can do it, but I'm going to go into not now. And as you can see, here are my assets of Solana and I can manage my token list in here right away. If you want to see a specific tokens or if you don't want to see specific tokens. So really simple guys, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you want to see more about this kind of stuff, thank you for watching this video and I'll be seeing you guys on the next one.